find the for the following ellipse find the coordinate of the center find the coordinate of the center we want to find the center we can use a darker color we want to find the center the length of the major axis minor axis coordinate of the endpoints on the of the major axis and minor axis and the coordinate of the or the coordinates of the four side okay so yeah this is in a parametric form so from a parametric form let's write this in cartesian form okay so before you write in the cartesian form you should know in a cartesian form the parametric equation is x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus b squared over sorry y minus k squared y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1 where the center center is h comma k your major axis let me write like this major axis is going to be 2a and minor axis is going to be 2b everything is dependent on on the center to be and the focus c squared or focus focal length squared is equal to a squared minus b squared now these formulas would be given or it's also there in your uh, you can also find it on a calculator so let's make cost the subject so i hope you understand cos t is equal to x plus 2 divided by 4 so first what I've done is I've added 2 to both sides and then divided by 4. So this implies sine t is first taking away 5 from both sides. That is y take away 5 and then dividing by root 2. That is root 2. Okay, <clears throat> so now I can say I know the trig identity like this cos squared t plus sine squared t is equal to 1 okay so let's substitute cos t is x plus 2 over 4 cos so cos squared t would be x plus 2 the whole squared over 16 plus y minus 5 the whole squared over uh, 2 is equal to 1 okay so compare writing in this form can i write like this this is x take away negative 2 squared over 4 squared plus y take away 5 squared over root 2 squared is equal to 1. so from this i can say the center uh, let me use this color so you can see the center is going to be negative 2 comma 5 okay your major axis is 2a so your a so let's say what is a a is 4 what is b b is root 2 just comparing the standard form to this you can compare a with 4 and b with root 2 and c squared is a squared or directly if you want to do c if you want to write c if you make c the subject i hope you can see a square root of a squared minus b squared okay so that will be square root of uh, this is 16 minus 2 which is square root of 14 so let us leave it like square root of 14 so the major axis if someone what's the major axis the major axis is going to be 2 times a so 2 times 4 is 8 the distance of the major axis is 8 and the minor axis is 2 times b which is 2 root 2 okay so let's sketch this okay so let's draw an ellipse so the center is so let me draw okay so the center center is what what's the center center is negative 2 comma 5 
this is your major axis so let me use a different color this is your major axis and this is your minor axis okay so this point this point from this point this distance so, so let's say this is o this is a this is b this is c and this is d so this distance is four and this is also four this distance is going to be root two and this distance is also root two so if you want to write the coordinates the coordinates would be what so the coordinate of a the coordinate of the center is negative 2 comma 5 so let me write that again so negative 2 comma 5 so you have to go uh, four units to the right so that would be 2 comma 5 2 comma 5 and if from this point if you go four units to the left the coordinate of b would be negative 2 take away 4 is negative 2 comma 5 the coordinate of C is two root two distance away from this in a, in a vertical direction. So the x coordinate is going to be the same. So negative two comma phi plus root two to be exact. And the coordinate of D would be negative two comma phi minus root two. You can confirm these coordinates on Desmos or also on a graphic calculator so this is f1 so let's say this is f1 and this is f2 so f1 and f2 are both on the major axis so the x coordinate is going to change and the y coordinate will remain the same so the focal distance is 14 so to be exact f1 will be minus 2 minus root 14 comma 5 comma 5 because it's on the horizontal axis and f2 would be negative 2 plus root 14 comma 5 you can confirm this using decimals or also on a graphic calculator okay